Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and this channel is all about helping people navigate their spiritual awakening or their ascension process. And today's video is gonna talk about, it's a continuation of one of my former videos. I spoke about what I called the void, which is a prolonged period of seeming nothingness, of identity decay, and you just feel like you have nothing and your life kind of sucks on all levels and you get stuck in it for a while, impossible to derive joy and pleasure from anything that once satisfied you and you just feel cast off in some sort of spiritual no man's land and you, you, you're you pinched off from, from uh, any semblance of your own divinity or joy or happiness or hope and I called it the void. And that video more specifically was about like a macrocosmic version of it, meaning the void in the context of your whole life, for your whole awakening. It can be a period of months, years for me. Um, you're just kind of like hibernating. This is going to be more of a microcosm of that, like a mini void, I'm going to call it, because these these bigger these these void-like states of being can happen very intermittently throughout your awakening. Just randomly, it might be a Tuesday afternoon and you're in the little mini void where again, nothing's happening. You're kind of stuck at a standstill. You might've had a lot of momentum going for you and all of a sudden you're like Ugh. All the momentum stopped. You feel off your game. You feel just kind of depressed and bluesy and your hope that was once so like obvious and logical, no law, you can't find it anywhere. You're just kind of feeling kind of hopeless and desperate and you don't know why, and you think, oh my God, Jesus, what is, what is, what is bullshit, you know? Um, but then like you wake up the next day and you're like, whew, you feel good again, you feel fine. Now, what I've noticed, to kind of give you guys some hope if you feel this, is in the past, I would go through these voids and every single time, I would feel like frustrated with myself. Frustrated with my performance, in the awakening process, in my performance at becoming a more spiritually enlightened type guy, and I'm like, wow, you really suck today, man. You're doing a shitty, piss poor job. You, look how crap you feel. You're not giving off any, you're not creating anything. You have no like, none of that flow coming out of you. You're just stuck here doing nothing. And I would also worry that, wow, how long is this gonna, gonna last? Because sometimes it doesn't last very long. Sometimes it can last a long time. In my experience, what I've learned, what I've discovered about these little mini voids and the bigger voids um, is they usually are the prelude to a breakthrough of some kind. I just had this little mini void yesterday. I, I felt just as I described, and then, you know, I didn't feel much better this morning, and I went to a Bikram yoga class, and it just like whoosh, let open the floodgates. And now I feel like amazing. I was in the shower today, like, I, I could not wait. My thoughts were racing. I could not wait to come and make, this is like my fourth video I made today, man. I have all these ideas. I have all these ideas for like a brand new YouTube channel. That's gonna be real cool. I'll tell you guys about it be kind of a branch off of this, all these amazing ideas, these life-changing ideas, just exploding into my conscience as if out of nowhere. And that's oftentimes the effect, the, the aftermath of these little mini voids. So now, what I would recommend, if you guys find yourself in a little mini void, look at it this way. Instead of looking at it like I did, where, wow, you suck at the awakening, nothing's happening, this is boring, yada yada, say, wow, I, something, I could never even begin to imagine, and I know it's gonna be very positive and awesome and amazing and life-changing, is like right on the other side of this void. And I know nothing good is, I'm not gonna be able to really create anything or, or make any real forward progress in this state of being anyway. You can't, if you've been through this, you know it, you're just stuck. Um, and your world, strangely enough, reflects it perfectly. Um, but knowing that, you say, okay, let you give yourself a damn day off for once in a while. Hmm? I never took days off during my awakening. I was always in my head, always trying to like fight and claw and figure things out. Dude, sit on the couch, fucking crack open a beer and watch some TV. Hang out, relax. Not that you have to drink beer, you, you get what I'm saying. Take, allow yourself a day off. Allow yourself to unburden yourself from all these obligations you impose upon yourself. Just relax and know that, hey, guess what? Tomorrow or maybe like 38 hours from now, two, two days, a week maybe, you're gonna have plenty to do. The, the, the wheels are gonna rev up again and you're gonna be coming forth from a nice, awesome state of being, okay? So again, these little mini voids, they happen They happen all day, quite frequently. And unannounced, unexpectedly, no pattern really, but you're, I know 
if you guys are going through the awakening, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But again, hopefully the, the, the whole point of this video was to give you a whole different perspective on them. Know they mean something really positive. So that when you find yourself in one, just chill, just relax, man.